The U.S. Supreme Court is refusing to hear any more appeals from Jonathan and Reginald Carr, which means their death sentence is considered final. Good evening, I'm Deb Barris. And I'm David Scott. The brothers from Western Kansas have been sitting on death row since their murder conviction 22 years ago in the killings of five people. Case Leon Purvis has been following the story and joins us in the studio with the very latest. Leon. David, Deb, said to a county district attorney, Mark Bennett, says there are several steps of appeals the Carr brothers could go through regarding if they got the right assistance. But Bennett says he's not surprised about the U.S. Supreme Court's decision. I got to go um, in 2015 to the United States Supreme Court and sit there while Derek Schmidt and Stephen Callister argued the two cases, um, sit at council table and and. I watched the Supreme Court's reaction to the case and their facts. And said to a county district attorney, Mark Bennett says he's not surprised by the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to refuse to hear a second appeal from the Carr brothers. In 2000, a jury convicted Jonathan and Reginald Carr of capital murder in the deaths of five people in Wichita and sentenced them to death. In a statement, Kansas Attorney General Derek Schmidt said in part, Today's action means the two defendants have exhausted their direct appeals and their convictions and death sentences are considered final. Bennett says the brothers can still file what's called indirect appeals on how their case was handled. He gives us an example of the process. District Court judge here says I rule that they both got effective assistance. They, there was no problem with their attorneys. That is appeal to the Kansas Supreme Court who sustains it. That appeal could go all the way to the highest court. If all of that has played itself out and all of those appeals are done, then the last thing to be would, would be that last sort of third rail, which is I want to challenge the manner in which death is imposed in Kansas. Then after that, then the last thing to do would be to issue the death warrant and an individual uh, would receive the death penalty. Bennett says at that point, the Kansas governor at the time could request leniency or pardon the death verdict. If that happens, the Carr brothers would remain in custody waiting for the process to play itself out. For now, they're still on death row along with seven other death row inmates. Live in studio, Leon Purvis, Kick News on your side.